This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non-commercial use only. Al-Qaeda releases video of 9-11 terrorists. Taliban strikes in Kabul, killing 20. Corpses pile up in Baghdad morgue. Link TV brings you these stories and more on this Mosaic Intelligence Report. Five years after the September 11, 2001 Al-Qaeda terrorist attacks on the United States, President George W. Bush says much has been accomplished and that the U.S., its friends and allies are taking the fight to the enemy. Since 9-11, our coalition has captured or killed Al-Qaeda managers and operatives and scores of other terrorists around the world. The enemy is living under constant pressure and we intend to keep it that way, Bush said. Meanwhile, a new videotape aired on Al Jazeera television has shown Osama bin Laden and senior Al-Qaeda members meeting with some of the men who carried out the September 11 attacks against the United States in 2001. In one scene, bin Laden addresses the camera calling on Muslims to support the hijackers. I ask you to pray for them and ask to God to make them successful. Aim their shots well, set their feet strong and strengthen their hearts, bin Laden said. Jihad is not an individual obligation now, then when will it be? While the destination of our Prophet's night journey is desecrated day and night? When will it be, while Muslim men and women are burning in Chechnya? While in Kashmir and the Philippines the blood continues to flow? It seems that Al-Qaeda's intention in releasing the tape prior to the fifth anniversary of 9-11 attacks was intended to shore up support for the pan-Islamic movement in the Arab world. Al-Qaeda's reputation has been tarnished in the eyes of many Arabs since 9-11 by attacks against Muslim civilians in Iraq, in Jordan, and in Afghanistan. The situation in the two countries where the war on terror has been launched is worsening. Recently in Afghanistan, an operation carried out by the Taliban next to the U.S. Consulate